Hi guys and welcome to the Arsenal vs Sunderland match review. So Sunderland did get beat by five goals to one at the Emirates last night in the Carabao Cup quarter final, thanks to uh, a hat trick from Eddie Nketiah, a goal from Pepe, and uh, the young 17 year old uh, Patino come as well to round off the game to break it 5 1. Of course, it was uh, Broadhead that got the goal for us. But uh, in terms of the performance itself and just uh, what I was feeling coming away from that game, I was generally very, very proud of not just the team but the club in general. You know, the fans were, were amazing from start to finish, chanting from start to finish, the packs that away end, and uh, it made a lot of noise. Um, and, and the performance on the pitch, you know, the scoreline just doesn't tell the story for me. Granted, I think defensively we were a little bit, well, I'll say a little bit, we were definitely suspect at times. Um, but in terms of going forward and, you know, in the in the middle third, the final third as well, I think we just, we, we competed with them. I think we were absolutely fantastic, particularly in the first half, where I think for portions, large portions, in fact, I think that we were actually the better side. Set in the second half, their quality clearly just shone through and they ended up um, tearing us a new one, really, in the, in the second half. But that still didn't, you know, shy away from the fact that we're still making chances regardless of the scoreline. We, we didn't change, we didn't drop back, we weren't, you know, scared, we didn't let our heads go down. You can see that the lads were really just playing to the occasion regardless of the scoreline, and that's what I was really, really proud with. You know, uh, like I said, you can easily just look at this game as black and white as a 5-1 defeat, but if you do look at the performance in general, there was a lot, a lot of heart. You know, to see players like Dan Neal, to see how he would play on that kind of stage, he was absolutely phenomenal, again, particularly in the first half. Winchester as well, I think he was very, very good. Um, Pritchard was excellent at times. Embleton as well, he could have got a goal himself, but he did get himself an assist. Uh, Broadhead got himself the goal, of course, um, and you know got Stuart doing the dirty work as well up top. The press was fantastic. Again, the attitude was, was great. We played some really, really good football at times, and this is what I was saying in the, uh, the preview to the game. Of course, Arsenal, they're not really a, a physical side, and that's generally what we struggle with. You know, so they get really in your face and they hit you hard. They're not that kind of side, really. Of course, they have the press, but they're not sort of tough tackling side where sometimes we can, you know, go out on a bit of a whimper because we're not that kind of side either. We do like to see and we do like to keep the ball on the floor and play football, as do Arsenal. Granted, Arsenal are better than us at doing it, but we were more than a match for them, again, in that first half, more so. Um, and we I mean, can see the personality to our game when you are up against the side. And, of course, when you've got a pitch like that, you know, a gorgeous, slick pitch like that at the Emirates, it... it it's really plays to our favour because at times we really did ourselves proud and we played just as good football as Arsenal did at times. Um, but getting into the game, of course, in the lineup, we did have Burge in goal. I do believe that Hoffman may, I don't know whether this has been uh, confirmed, but I believe that Hoffman may have actually got COVID. So uh, that's, a, that's a bummer. But um, we do uh, have uh, Bailey Wright, uh, we have Flanagan, Doyle, uh, Gooch with uh, Winchester as well, uh, Neil. Uh, Embleton, uh, Broadhead, uh, Pritchard and uh, Stewart as well uh, as the starting eleven. And uh, like I say, I, I was saying, you know, as I was watching the game, I was in the pub watching the game and uh, I was saying before, I feel like if we weather the storm, which will be the sort of opening 10 minutes or so, I feel like our nerves will settle and we will start to play football and we will have the confidence. I believe that, that is exactly what happened and I think both goals in the first half, they, they were just they were unfortunate really because the first one, it was, uh, it was a decent save, a half decent save from... Uh, from Burge, and he's powered it straight onto the sort of at the knee of uh, Nketiah, who sort of just kneed it straight into the goal. The second one for Arsenal, that was a deflection, nothing Burge could have done about it. And so it was really, really unfortunate. Uh, don't get me wrong, I feel like down the wings they were getting there a little bit too easily. All it was was a couple of passes, and either side, be it on the left or the right, they were getting down to the byline far too easily. And that's what I mean defensively. We are a bit shaky, but again, they do have the quality, so I'm not going to knock the players too much. They do have the quality. But our goal was, for me, it was absolutely class. Maybe even the goal of the night, I'm maybe being a bit uh, too biased there. But I just felt the passing was so good. It was so slick. The triangles, the quick passing movement off the ball was absolutely excellent. It finds Embleton and he slides in Broadhead with a gorgeous finish from Broadhead as well, who dinks it um, over the oncoming keeper to make it 2 1. And I was going absolutely mad. You know, it could have been, you know, 6 1, 7 1 at the time. And I will, will celebrate it because we were so proud. And I'm so glad that the Sunderland fans at the Emirates had something to chant about and something to cheer on um, despite the defeat. So, you know, we went in at half time. It was 2 1. And like I say, we were competing. We really were competing. I was so proud of the lads. And, um, you know, for, for all the, you know, the sort of criticism that I have given Lee Johnson in the past, and I do still believe that he struggles with a plan B, um, the plan A he does have 
it, when it works, it looks good because he, he wants to play football properly. And I do appreciate that. He, he's trying to get us uh, to play football. And what I did appreciate was just because it was Arsenal, we weren't just sitting back and then just resorting to hoof it football and just bumping up field and just hoping that something will stick and hoping that something will happen. We're sticking to our game regardless of the opposition and the quality of the opposition. And it was really, really good to watch at times. I was so, so proud because we did put give it a really good account of ourselves. It was just defensive at times. We were it, we were pretty ranted. We, we were at times. Um, second half again, the quality just shone through. You know, uh, and Ketty was running riot. We got another three goals. We uh, we could have got another one. Uh, Embleton with a great effort, curling effort that come off the post. Um, and when we did have chances, like I say, regardless of the scoreline, whatever timing of the game it was, we're still making chances. We're still going through it. Not at any point did any of their players. Get the head. Sorry, did they let the head go down? Um, the big thing for me was injuries, and it was Broadhead, and I believe he might be out for another month or two. Um, he went down. I don't know if it was his hammy. And and this is the thing. And I was saying it on Instagram the other day, and someone said to me, "Would I sign um, Broadhead on a permanent?" And I said, "The thing is, for me, Broadhead, you can see he's a class above. He's, he's not a League One player. He's a Championship standard player." Championship level player minimum at the moment, possibly and has the potential to come to do further. But you know the thing is with him, we get six or seven games out of him before he's injured, and that's generally the case. And can we really afford to be purchasing and buying a player that yes, you'll get six or seven very very good games out of him. He's a very useful player. He'll score your goals, but then you're not going to see him for another couple of months. Do you know what I mean? And and unfortunately, that's what's happened. He's got he's got himself injured again, um, which is just so so frustrating because he was getting some really really good form just as Stuart is. Sort of, he's kind of veered off, hasn't he? He had such a good start to the season, Ross Stewart, and he still does have, you know, um, a lot more in him. Not just goals, Ross Stewart, but when your main goal scorer has been Broadhead, when he's injured now, it's just it's absolutely gutting. To Stewart's going to have to step up and and he's going to have to get the goals again, hopefully anyway, because I can't see anyone else who's going to do it really. But um, yes, yeah, so that is absolutely gutting. It really is gutting, and I'm gutted for the lad as well. Hume come on and he got absolutely. Battered. He got battered, um, particularly the goal. You know, they got to the byline. It was Pepe. He was running rings round him, megged him for one of the goals, and then put it in. And it was a lovely flick from Enketia. Um I don't know whether that was the goal to make it four-one. I can't remember. Regardless, he got absolutely battered. Did Denver Hume? Unfortunately, he's um, he's certainly not someone who can compete on a Premier League stage. Unfortunately, he did like like I say, he got absolutely torn a new one. He got battered. But um, yeah, so five-one. It sounds horrible, but I was very, very proud of the lads. Very, very pr proud of the club in general. Um, you know, they were just uh, th their their attitude, just in general, was absolutely phenomenal. Um, I, I really can't knock them at all. Defensively, we could maybe not try conceding five, but it was a very, very proud day. It, it was a very proud night. Others will probably laugh and be like, "What are you on about? You lost five one. How can you be proud?" I'm proud. I am proud of the lads. But now it's it's time to focus on the league and hopefully get promoted this season. Um, our next game is against Doncaster and I think you know if we keep playing like we did particularly in the first half against Arsenal then that is definitely the making of a side that shouldn't be in League 1 because some of the football it, it was class it was a class above at times in that first half and like I say the second half it was literally just they had too much quality and that was the end of the story so that'll be it guys um, what do you think of the game let me know in the comments down below but if you have enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe and all that nonsense but for now you take care and stay jamming <laughs>